welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to show you guys some new tips and tricks with beauty stuff. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to my Fashion Nova um, Christmas Guide and Try On Haul. It received over 100 views, which for me is really big because <laughs> I'm just kind of starting out. So thank you so much for your responses and your comments and for subscribing. I actually got a lot of comments from that video about my hair. Um, a lot of people were wondering about the style, how I did it. Um, what color it was it's actually a multitude of colors but there's actually no chemicals in my hair I haven't colored my hair in over a year um, and I kind of want to keep it that way because I'm trying to grow my hair out and I really want like the healthiest hair possible plus it's winter time and it's kind of dry so I don't want to color my hair right now but when I want that pop of color my favorite thing to do is to use clip-ins yes these ladies and gentlemen are clip-ins I made these and just kind of put them all on one side I wanted to do something different and have this heavy highlighted side on my left and then transition over into barely anything at all on this side so um, I'm really excited to show you guys um, how to do it yourselves how to recreate this look at home if you have questions or comments leave them below and I hope you enjoy it Okay, so first I'm going to start at the bottom and I kind of work from memory with my own head as far as where I'm going to section off the hair. But that bottom section, if you take your two fingers and place them above your ear, that's about where that first section is going to be parted off. So I like to put my super blonde piece at the bottom. That way when I curl my hair, I have a really nice pop of light color underneath. But when I wear my hair straight, it's kind of hidden with some other darker colors that I like. So I'm just going to clip that in and smooth that down. The way I have it cut, I have it so that it ends like in the middle of my head um, in the back or actually it goes around the head but it ends over by the other ear so it doesn't go all the way to the other side. All right, so for my next clip-in, I'm gonna section off the hair. If you take three fingers and place it from where that first section was, um, kind of about where your head starts to round off, that's where the next extension will go. And this is where my first ombre piece is going to go. So I'm going to clip that in there. Um, it's kind of cool because it blends right into my natural hair. So I'm sorry if it's hard to see. But I'm just doing the first clip in right by the hairline. It's nice and hard to clip. Hopefully that means it's nice and hard to, <laughs> to just slide out. But um, And then I'm just going to slide that around and clip it in the back. I have that one ending um, kind of in the middle of the head. I didn't want it to go all the way around because I just wanted that transition to be kind of cool. So that's where the second extension will go. Alrighty, so my next ex my next extension is a highlighted piece. It has more brown in it than blonde, but it has some nice blonde peekaboos in it. So I'm gonna place that one on the other side of my head, about where I put the ombre piece on the other side. So again, just starting about three fingers above the ear, kind of where the head starts to round off. That's where I'm gonna put that highlighted piece, and I'm gonna start it on the opposite side that I put my other extensions. All right, so for my last piece, I'm going to put it in the front. Right now I have kind of like a mohawk section going on at the top. I'm just going to take about two fingers worth of um, hair, almost I guess like a couple inches, and I'm going to part it horizontally so that I have like a bang going on in the front. And I'm just going to kind of section it off. Um, in the front, I'm going to have the hair laid downward, so that means I'm going to clip the uh, clip in, in horizontally so that it kind of falls in my face. I kind of like more of a swoop bang effect going on. So as you can see, I'm placing the clip ins downward as opposed to having them go to the side. Um, oh, I almost dropped something there. Okay, catch it. So we're just going to clip that in and kind of bring it around. That way it blends into the side as well. But that way I have a nice peekaboo in my bang area. So now that all my clip-ins are in, I have nice four pieces. Shouldn't take more than about 10 minutes of your day to put those in. I'm just gonna create my nice clean part. 
Um, I like a nice deep side part personally for me. I think, I think that it creates like so much volume and you get to see a lot more of that color. So I'm just gonna smooth everything out. You can style it however you'd like. You can curl it, you can wear it nice and sleek, but I guarantee you, you will turn heads with this nice pop of color. Yes, all right. So this was so much fun to show you guys. I hope you had fun too. Give it a try. Let me know how it works. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.